All right, my art making friends, here's the thing, time. Today we're gonna look at some artists who use time. So consider how each artist here incorporated time in the work. Okay, first of all, this guy Mike, right? Look, how does this have anything to do with time? Well, he had to take all those pictures of those airplanes, so it took a long time, but then he put them all into one photo. So it's sort of like time captured in one photograph. Isn't that crazy? All right, check this one out here, melting men. So basically what you got here is some little men and they're made out of ice. So you know what happens over time? They melt. It's about raising awareness for, uh, for you know, global warming and stuff like that. So Tony Plant goes down to the beach and he drags his rake around the beach. And as he does that, he leaves these really cool designs in the sand. And you're like, well, okay, that's cool. I guess it takes a long time to make them, but that's not really why I'm showing them for time. The reason I'm showing them for time is because he makes them and he only has a short amount of time for them to exist because then the waves come up and when the waves come up, they just destroy his artwork and it's gone. It's there for only a very short period of time. Hey, Monet used to like to paint outdoors. So what he would do, is he'd grab a canvas and he'd start painting like these haystacks well he'd start painting for like an hour and then the sun would change so then he'd put down that painting and he'd get a different canvas and he'd start working on that and he'd work on that for about an hour and then the sun would change so he'd put down that painting and he'd get another one and start it and he'd just keep going through that day after day and over the course of time he'd have all these different looking haystacks really the same haystack but just different times of the day he did the same thing with cathedrals look at all these paintings of cathedrals he did Joshua Allen Harris went to my hometown and my school of visual arts, uh, New York City, and he makes street art out of plastic bags. So you're like, well, what does that have to do with time? Well, let me show you how it works. Well, uh, I guess it's inflatable street art, sort of a sculpture that, that works on the street that mm -hmm. inflates uh, with s subway air. Mm. Uh, exhaust air. What are the materials that you use to create one of these sculptures? Basically just shopping bags, trash bags. You know, part of the magic of it is that it, it looks like trash on the street and then it becomes animated and comes to life. So I wanted to kind of stay within that material. What was the first piece that you placed on the street? I tried the bear. I figured with four paws it would give me enough wind to kind of get him to stand up and uh, it worked. And, it, and he looked really cool and he had a lot of nice animation to him with his life. So that's the whole thing. It's only up for a short amount of time, however long it takes for the subway car to go underneath, and then you're out of time, and then your little creature goes back to being, um, back to being asleep. So that's it. Awareness, a time, time. <laughs> Let's get her done. It's time to make some art. Let's go.